So you've arrived at your favorite campsite. Nobody in sight for miles and miles. As you know, we like to dry camp. You see the lake out there. And it's gonna be about 100 here over the next couple days. So we've got our awnings out, of course, to try to keep the temperature down. So we have these massive trees and they're supplying some great shade for our RV because we're parked into it. The one thing wrong when you're a dry camper and shade is your solar panels don't like it. <laughs> these get into the shade about three quarters of the day. I got a little bit of light on them right now. Uh, but as the day progresses, they're going to get further and further into the shade and I lose more and more of my capability to produce power. So, our friends at GoPower have done us me another favor, and they sent me one of their portable solutions. And I'm going to jump down from the top of the trailer here in a minute, and we're going to show you how I've done that in order to keep ourselves fully powered. All right, I made it off safely off the top of the RV, so now we're down to the ground, and I'm going to show you the actual device from GoPower. Uh, they have two devices. The one that they sent to me is this is their 120 watt portable solar panel. It folds in half. Uh, we can show you that in a moment. Uh, but the nice thing about it is you can move it around. Unlike the RV, it's uh, stationary. Uh, this I can move around and follow the sun so I can continuously charge the, our batteries throughout the day, which is really nice. So the nice thing that comes with it is a 12-foot cable. I decided I wanted to add another cable to that, so I went out and bought their 30-foot cable. And one I can show you, it's running over to the trailer right now. I've got it temporarily hooked up with some alligator clamps, uh, but GoPower provides uh, some nice terminal connections as well. And then you can make it a nice connection and just use their quick connect uh, so you don't have to jerry-rig your battery compartments. But I just did it for temporary purposes. What I'm going to show you now is the back of the device. Uh, we're going to flip over here in a second. And we're going to show you the actual interface and show you how that works. All right, so here we are at the back of the uh, device. And as you can see, nothing's happening right now. But it is in sun power, uh, sunlight, so that's great. So what I'm going to do is just do the connections here. This is the device on the back. You just disconnect this safety module here. This is my cable running to the trailer keep its safety clamp off and then they just connect together real nice it's a real good connection and then what happens is the controller will go through a quick power up and then it's starting to work so you can see right now our batteries uh, we've been charging for a while they're sitting at about 13.4 which is a pretty good charge um, it's reporting a couple different things I'll run through that so if I hit the button once looks like I'm pulling at about 3.21 3.2 amps I moved it on a direct sunlight in order to get a, a look at this display panel uh, but earlier we were pulling at about 6.4 uh, toggle through the next one so the batteries are at about 90 percent right now and about one amp hour so we go back and you can see that again the batteries are uh, at 13.4 what I'm showing is a flooded battery that's what our trailer has we have three Trojan T1275 s but you can hold the B button down and then select the battery type that you have and their options are Again, flooded. If you hit A, it moves over to the next battery. We start to move over. So now you see that it has the sealed batteries as an option. You have AGM batteries as an option. And then flooded is your option. You hold the A button down, it'll lock it back in. Because that's what we have, flooded batteries, and we're done. The last thing I want to show you, besides this little fly flying around me, uh, is it also has on the side over here a USB connection. So you could plug in your phone. If you had a portable battery pack, you could plug it in there as well. Uh, so then it will also charge your batteries and a, an optional device that you have USB power with. Again, your phone or a battery, whatever you want to do. Uh, so this is a really nice device for you dry campers that move around, uh, that might be in some shade, that could be in a location that doesn't get direct sunlight to your trailer. As you can see, when it backs up a little bit, our trailer is in a lot of shade right now. And that's great because we're going to be at 100 plus degrees out here over the next week. Uh, so we want the trailer to be shaded, but that hurts the sh my panels on top. So again, a portable device like this is a great way to augment your dry camping experience. Right, so now I'm going to show you the accessories that come with the Go Power Kit. So the first one we're going to show you is the alligator clamps. This is more of a, a temporary solution, so you would connect it to your batteries just by clicking with these guys. Uh, the next one over on the side here, this is my, the permanent solution. This is how I'm going to wire mine. So you take your red terminal and your black terminal and attach it to your batteries. And then you take this and then attach it to your, actually to your trailer. So then all you have to do is just bring your cable in and connect to it. And it's not dangling, it's just, it's on a permanent location. Uh, some RVs have this type of a connector, so GoPower includes this as well. This would be a quick connect for their solar panels. The final accessory that it comes with is an Anderson 2-pin connector. If you have a need for that, you can use this. Again, they're very generous with their accessories. 
And finally, the cable that it comes with in order to run out your, your portable solution out into the sun. Earlier I showed you the 30-foot cable that uh, we had purchased, but this is the cable that comes with it. So we add this in conjunction with that 30-foot cable, and I'm going to be able to really reach way out there in order to get to the sun, direct sunlight. All right, so what you see here is the controller for our panels on top of the RV. And what it's reporting right now is 12.9 uh, volts on the battery, so we're getting a little more power. Uh, but what's the, the startling thing right here is it's only showing 1.2 amps being put into the battery right now. That's not a lot for a panel that uh, realistically has the ability to uh, monitor up to 80 volts. Toggling over one, you can see that the panels are only doing 33.5 volts right now out of 80 max. Um, so using that Go Power device out there uh, as a portable solution really helps us boondockers be able to capture the sunlight and turn that into power. Uh, again, that device is out there pulling in a, right now about 6.5 amps uh, in comparison to the built-in device here that's only pulling in 1.3. So again, great device for those boondockers who want to get out there and enjoy the wilderness in locations without any kind of services. Okay, so that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed the information we provided you on the GoPower 120 watt portable uh, solar panel. It does a great job out here for us, helping us get that extra power because our trailer again is in shade and that's hard to get the solar panels charging the batteries. So a nice portable solution really, really helps us. If you have any questions or you have information you want, uh, again, the links are down below on all the products that we use today. Uh, so go ahead and check those out. And one last request, if you get a second, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That would really help us out. Again, my name is Jim. I'm Melinda. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Have a nice day.